You first. No, no. You first. No, no. You first. You first. You first. You first. Who? 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 Ha ha! No. You first. Now, if you are doing business in China, or if you're doing business with Chinese, dinner is a very, very important part because Chinese we do business over dinners, not necessarily in the boardroom. Now, when it comes to eating and dining with the Chinese, there are a lot of do's and don'ts. Today, I'm going to share with you just a few of them. Now, the first thing you got to know when you eat dinner with the Chinese, we always want to serve others first. So, it depends on the ranking. Uh, amount of table or the seniority of the older.、Uh, we always respect the elderly first, right? People who are more senior. So we will let them eat first. So when the food is here, you don't just jump into it. I want this. I want that. No, usually the senior first, or you will actually serve them first. You actually serve them first. You grab the food. You will serve them first. Another thing that you don't want to do, let's say, imagine you're sitting in one of those big round table where they have a little, a, like a little spin spinner in the middle. You don't want to. Let's say you like that dish. You don't just stand up and go all the way there and try to grab the food, kind of like cross the table. That's very, very impolite. You would wait till everybody finishes, and then it's your turn. Then you would grab what what you want to eat. Even though let's say you let's say you love beef and you have a beef broccoli in front of you, you don't eat first. You serve and you you just turn, you spin, and you spin and let everybody eat first. And then until it's your turn, so that shows that you you are polite. So make 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 sure when you're eating with other people, servers. I know you're hungry. I know you want to jump into the food, but it's better just to delay than make sure. And it shows that you are an educated person. It shows that you're polite. You understand the the culture and the Chinese etiquette. Now, Vic, what about in terms of other things?、Mm, okay, so. The other thing that you want to know about is the art of tea、mm. pouring and tea receiving tea pouring. Yes. So let's say if I was to serve dinner. Now sometimes you see this a lot, and you wonder what what is the Chinese doing when someone is pouring tea to them, and they're like kind of hitting the table or like this. Like what does that mean? It doesn't mean that oh, give me more, give me more. It does. This doesn't mean that. Now, what does it actually mean? Yeah. So there's so many stories in regards to the the source of where this gesture come、mm. from. So I'm going to share one with you. So the one that I've been told was that way back when one of the dynasties, the emperor, one of the many emperors, wanted to go out into the village and live like a commoner. So of course his advisors and you know his army, you know, we can't have that. We can't have you. Unprotected, just be out in the village, right? Because he had wanted to live like a commoner, so that means he can't have an entourage following him around.、Mm. So he was very persistent. So then, what happened was, he got all the clothes to go out, and he even got a job working at a restaurant.、Mm. So he's serving now other people, right? So now his his people, you know, his army and his advisors, they they want to stay close to him and protect him.、Mm. So what ended up happening is they pretended to be the customers sometimes, right? So now. The emperor is now pouring tea to them, and they're very embarrassed, right? Because the emperor's like, "Don't expose my identity, otherwise I'll get mad." Because back then, when emperor does something or says something, you always like kneel and and, and bow, right?、Mm. So yeah, the tradition the... is you're supposed to be lower than the the emperor.、Mm. You can't、mm. be taller or even just be receiving his gesture. His gesture. Yes. It's a big deal, right? Yes. So then they obviously they cannot bow because it, it would expose them. So they created this miniature bowing, this gesture of、mm. thank you. The thank you. When the emperor would pour them tea, so that's one of the many stories that that's floating around. So when you know someone pours your tea, you want to do something like this,、mm -hmm. but ideally something like that, and this is basically it's a thank you.、Mm -hmm. Yes.、Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna use the washroom. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so Klaus, so in Chinese tradition, we typically want to avoid putting our chopsticks into、like、our rice salad. Yeah, like that. And the、yeah. reason why that is is when our ancestors or somebody in our family or somebody close passes away, we give them, we pay them respect by burning incense.、Mm. And you we, see those three incense right, sometimes. Typically, three three、mm. um, sticks of incense,、mm. and we would you know bow, and then we would place that into the rice.、Mm. So it's more for those who have passed away. 
So when we're eating at a dinner table, you don't want to stick do your, anything that resembles, that you know, that mm -hmm. kind, that kind of, a, that kind of a look. So right? what you want to do if you want to say you can either put it on the side like that, just mm -hmm. just right next to your to your rice, mm -hmm. and then that's okay, right? Right. That's simple. Yeah. yeah. And let me share another chopstick etiquette with you as well. So mm. you see this little chopstick holder. Mm. So many nice restaurants will have that holder. So yes. in addition to putting your chopsticks on your bowl like this. You can also put it on your chopstick holder on right the top. There. Now, with this pair, you can see it's different color from all the ones that we're using. We're mm -hmm. using these black ones. Yeah. Okay. The one that I'm holding here with the special holder, these ones are brown, right? So these are communal chopsticks because when we eat with our own chopsticks, we put it in our mouth, so it gets contaminated with our own saliva. And yes. Such. So if we want to reach more for more food. We're like mixing all of our salivas mm -hmm. together, and we really don't want to be. That is gross. Yeah, it's a sharing, sharing. I love caring. my family, but not that much. <laughs> That's right. So then you will see these chopsticks, yeah. right? If it's not on a placeholder like this, you might see it resting just on one of the dishes here. Yes. Right, and usually it's more obvious because they will look different from all the different ones, color. Right, yeah. and the ones that you are using. Mm. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I see some, sometimes people forget they, they're grabbing the food and they they start, they start using that and and use it as their own chopstick. And that that's a lot, and yeah. they're like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." That's a, that's a big no no. <laughs> and then they get a new one, right? Yes. But so basically, you use this, you grab the food, you put it on your bowl on your plate, and then yeah. you put it back, and then you eat with your chopstick. So it's like an extra layer of of work, right? Yes. But again, it's part of the the Chinese etiquette. Very very important, right? So and then your chopstick, make sure, yeah, don't and also Chinese is interesting sometimes. In Japanese I think it's a little bit different. Yeah. In Japanese they eat the rice, it's more like is it like bits and pieces? Because in Chinese we would do sometimes like that, right? If they're in a rush, like a typical salary man in Japan, if they're in a rush, they might be doing the that, that really quickly. Yeah. But a lot of time they would be like here and then doing the bits by piece, yeah. Yeah, bits and pieces, right? Yeah. yeah. And in, in Chinese etiquette it's also interesting, you can see there's a, a chicken here. Now this type of chicken, you can see in pieces. Sometimes they have the whole chicken cut in pieces with the chicken head. Now in in Chinese culture, when you have the chicken head, you don't if you especially you want to you don't want to point the chicken head to certain people. You point it maybe in the middle, but you want to point it to somebody because in a company or in an organization, uh, when the chicken head points to somebody, it means they're getting fired. It just means they're getting fired. So good that we don't have chicken head here, right? right. Jason's getting fired. <laughs> don't want to get fired. Don't get fired. <laughs> and so it's not a good thing to do. So make sure either get rid of the chicken head. But some people do like to eat the chicken head. Mm, so just right. don't point it to somebody. It's very, very impolite. So those are some of the do's and don'ts when it comes to eating and Chinese, uh, eating and dining with the Chinese. Now maybe share with us what are some of the other the do's and don'ts that you know. Comment below. If you, this is the first time you're watching our channel, make sure you click on the subscribe button and, and click on click on the bell, turn on the notification. If you want to watch our other Decode China videos, check it out on the left side. We have a lot of videos. We upload one, like two new videos every single week, two new videos. So make sure you watch that. Click the like button and I'll see you in the next video.